Milton! Good boy. Good boy, Tinky. Oh, Tinky. Oh. Morning, guys. It is before eight o'clock and I am already up in the kitchen. Okay, I'm doing something a little different this morning. Yesterday, when I was at Aldi, I bought a chuck roast. You guys, I have no idea what to do with this. Well, I'm making a Mississippi pot roast because I just looked at recipes on the internet. But funny thing, when I was in the hospital, one of the meals that they served me that I really liked was the pot roast. And I was like, okay, if I think hospital pot roast tastes good, then like imagine what I could do in the luxury of my own kitchen, right? So according to everything I've read, you just take a pot roast, you put some ranch seasoning, some, some gravy seasoning, some pepperoncinis in a crock pot. You guys look, here's my crock pot. I can't tell you how long it's been since I used a crock pot. Like, I, this is opening up a whole new world to me. So I have my pan on, I'm about to put a tablespoon of butter in there, and then I'm just gonna sear this thing on each side for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna put it in the crock pot. Okay, everyone, the roast looks crusty and seared, and I'm, whoa, I'm really excited about it already. Okay, packet of ranch, packet of au jus seasoning. Not the cleanest ingredients riddled with maltodextrin, but I figure since it's all gonna like soak off in the juices and whatnot, I'm probably gonna count three quarters of the carbs in these. Um, this whole packet is 16 carbs. This whole packet is 12 carbs. So, I mean, that'll still bring me out to three or four carbs a serving, which is okay. But let's sprinkle and set it and forget it. I have 60 grams of pepperoncini and a little bit of the juice. And then four tablespoons of butter. All right, I am turning my crock pot on to low and I will check on this in about six hours. Okay guys, getting a late start this morning. I am just now on my way to the gym, meaning that it is Ziffy's time. Today we are having blue raspberry again. This is exciting. So what I do is whenever I buy all my zip fizzes, I take them out of the package, or I take them out of the box they come in, and I put them in just a regular container. I mix them all together. So it's almost like zip fizz roulette every time. I just reach in there and I grab one, and I don't know what flavor I'm gonna have for the day. So blue raspberry is my jam. You guys, I don't know where my, oh my God, here's my opener right here. Ask and ye shall receive. <sighs> Haven't used it in a while. Okay. Still scary. Oh yes, okay. Still taking the plastic off because I'm not a heathen. Okay everybody, you know what I'm about to ask you to do, okay? So look around, see if there's anybody in your immediate vicinity. You know, maybe you wanna stand over to the side a little bit or maybe you wanna get in everybody's way. Cause in five, four, three, Two. Ooh, that sounds very Janet Jackson, but let's do it. You know it feels good. You just play no, it feels good. All right, taste test. I love this stuff. Whoa. All right, off to the gym. Okay guys, I am done at the gym. It just feels really good to be active and to be moving. So funny thing, I actually went to Meijer last night. Like for some reason I was sitting at home, it was 7.30 at night and I was like, I'm super bored but I have a lot of energy. So let me just put on some music, go to Meijer and dance through the aisles and just live my best life and I was getting it. I was a rock star. Each aisle was my runway also, I'm calculating my macros this week. You guys, that is my pledge to myself. I am up some weight from being in the hospital, and so my goal is weight loss, and if you wanna lose weight, you have to know how much you're eating. At least, I have to know how much I'm eating. So, I'm gonna get home, throw some things together, see what my macros are looking like, and then that's what's gonna determine what I cook this week, so let's do it. As you 
saw, I whipped up that bacon. So I cooked my bacon on two sheet pans at 375 for 14 minutes. And then what I do is I open the oven to let some of the heat out and then I close it and then I bake it for one more minute. So it's 15 minutes total, but at the 14th minute I let some heat out. And maybe that's just like superstition or placebo effect, but I really think it helps to cook the bacon but not burn it. And while the bacon was cooking, I sat down and I made my meal plan. So the first thing I did was, as you can see, I just used pencil and paper. So I wrote down all the ingredients of all the different recipes that I'm gonna make. So I'm making protein waffles, and then I'm making the goodies peanut butter mix. And then I have all the ingredients of my Mississippi pot roast. So I get all of the macros for a serving of each of those. And then on my next page, I incorporate those into my total meal plan. So now I know that when I'm eating during the week, I am eating on plan to help me reach my goal. And this helps me to stop from snacking and to say, okay, maybe I'll sneak in a handful of nuts here. Maybe I'll sneak in something there. It's like, no, because if it's not on the list, it doesn't help me achieve my goals. So now that that's done, I've made a delicious omelet. I used a tablespoon of butter, three eggs, and the leftover bacon that I had. You guys, I'm at nine slices of bacon total today and like, I do not care. cookies in the oven and of course the best part is like eating the dough that's left over in the bowl y'all and if this don't taste like the exact middle of a Reese's Pieces like this is straight decadence well it looks like the spoon has done all it can now time for nature spoon and you might be asking autumn come on now it's just scraps have you no shame the answer is no I don't got no shame. This is my house. Let me look like shame. You lucky I don't lick this bowl right in front of your face. gosh look at this can you see it I don't know I don't care I think you can really taste the spicy ranch I am here for you ranch packet I make roast now I am a roast person that's all she wrote that's all she roast somebody come get me <laughs> I am done today bye okay guys I'm done with meal prep and I am elated. Number one, because it's so early in the day. And number two, look what I have. Meal number one is gonna be this mound of protein waffles. Uh, I have enough for one waffle in one segment. So that's gonna be in total five segments of protein waffle. I'm gonna be using this sugar-free syrup. It has aspartame, it has ACE-K, I don't really care. And then I have two slices of bacon. So waffle and bacon is meal number one. And then my first snack is gonna be a Quest Hero Bar. Also don't forget I have enough room in my macros for a bulletproof coffee. Oh, these protein waffles are very easy, you guys, okay? Here is the Quest protein powder that I used. One scoop of protein powder, one egg, one tablespoon of butter, one half teaspoon of baking powder, and then as much liquid as you would like to thin it out. And that is it. Put that in a waffle maker and blot out. There you go. Meal number two, look at this roast. Can you see the texture? You guys, I am spazzing out because it looks good and it tastes delicious. And I'm gonna be having some microwave green beans and a tablespoon of butter. And then for my snack number two, 
I'm gonna have these goodies, peanut butter cookies, and they look so good. And then of course, I'm always gonna be having Jell-O, Zevia, ice string, Powerade, like any sort of those beverages that I want with some water. I'm gonna be drinking water this week, but like, this is the most excited I've been about a meal prep in so long and everything turned out exactly great and I cannot wait to show it to you in more detail on my What I Eat Wednesday. Okay guys, I'm done for the day. I've watched some TV, I've relaxed, I made a delicious bulletproof coffee. Let's see, 12 ounces of coffee, one tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one ounce of sweetener, one tablespoon of collagen, and a half cup of milk, and that's it. So I'm just chilling for the rest of the night. Overall, today was a great day. Like the thing that lets me know that I can do keto forever is that I can still get excited about the food a year and a half into it. I can still make something and, and be like, I cannot believe I get to eat this on the diet, you know? Like my roast is such a success. Those peanut butter cookies, like just to genuinely love the food that I eat, like. That is just so awesome and I'm just so grateful to have the keto diet in my life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. Also, monthly keto crate unboxings. You can also find me on Instagram, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week. I added cinnamon this time, like, game changer. Bubby, the Bubby. Arr, 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 oh, melted. Oh, Tinky, Tinky.